This is the Canon Selfie CP1500 and today I'll be reviewing it. I'll be taking a look at its features, if it's easy to use, the quality of the prints, the value and at the end I'll give it a final score. So let's get started. I decided to give it 4 out of 5 for its features. You have many ways of printing pictures on this printer. First is using this USB Type-C port on the side to plug a USB thumb drive. You can use an iPhone or an Android phone. And of course a Mac computer, PC or even a Chromebook. Oh, and it even has an SD card reader right there to plug directly the card from your camera. If you want to print without plugging your printer in an AC outlet, there is actually a battery that is sold separately that you can plug in the back of the unit. One thing I would love to see on the Canon Selfie lineup is a touch screen. The screen provided is fixed in place compared to the older model where you could move it. Sure, the screen is bigger but it lacks resolution, there's not enough pixel in there, so it's hard to see if a picture is in focus or not. I only give it 3 stars out of 5 for ease of use. It was easy to install the ink cartridge and also easy to install the paper, but to connect a device to this printer, it should not require you going through 7, 8, 9 different screens and pressing on your screen more than 20 different times. The good news is that you only need to do this setup once and you're done. But still, for a consumer product such as this printer, it should be much quicker and easy to understand how to pair with a phone or a computer. Another thing that deceived me a bit is the fact that I can't zoom in the picture to see if it's sharp or not. The older model, believe it or not, had a feature where you can zoom in and zoom out using some buttons, but this time, not even in menus, it gives you this option. For the quality of the print, I'll give it a 5 star. The details are there, the contrast to the blacks are really black, they're not grey, and the resolution is great. It prints at 300 dpi to 300 dpi and it shows. I can't see any pixels or any kind of noise or artifact that are not supposed to be there. I don't think you can complain about the print quality. Apart for a reason, and this is if you print in satin. Compared to the older model, you can actually print in satin, not only in glossy. And I don't know if you can see, but there is kind of a grid um, texture going on on top of the picture. So I will definitely suggest that you only print in glossy. And by the way, Canon only sells glossy paper for the selfie printers. So I don't even know why they have this option. For the value, I decided to give it 4 out of 5. Currently on Amazon, it's selling for 139 US dollars, which I think it's a sweet spot for this kind of printer. Many people are still interested in printing 4x6 pictures. Instax are smaller, even the wide version, and the Z ink options from Polaroid and even Canon with its IV lineup are still considerably smaller compared to what this Canon Selfie CP1500 can do. The only reason why it didn't got 5 stars in terms of value is that there are many much cheaper Canon printer, sure they're not portable, they're huge, that are able to print big glossy pictures, just like this printer, which is $77 on Amazon right now and is able to not only print pictures but to scan and to send faxes, it's much more useful for a lot less money. Now, does it mean that it's useless to purchase a Canon Selfie CP1500? I don't think so. The older version sold very well, according to what I can see from Amazon and other retailers. It means that this kind of printer is more than a gimmick. People love it. And I think value-wise, it all goes down to combining compactness of a very small printer that you can throw in a backpack to an amazing image quality. So this is why I'm giving the Canon Selfie CP1500 has a final score 4 out of 5. Overall, this model is a refresh compared to the older model, more than a complete upgrade, but it does the job and I understand why Canon didn't want to change too much. So this is it, if you liked this review, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, but also leave a comment down below. It's very appreciated and it's showing support to my channel.